Here we go with another battle video. This one has not been edited or anything. Um, I've, I've uploaded one that's been uh, sped up a bit, and I'm still kind of playing around with uh, how I'm actually going to get those to work. But this is a shorter video, so I thought I'd go ahead and do the audio for this one first, and then play around with some of the longer videos later. So this is my Hydreigon Darkrai deck versus his uh, Zorok deck. And he starts off with the Drift Bloom, gets to go first, and uh, random receivers for a Juniper. And I'm not, uh, I believe, uh, well, uh, sorry, he starts off with the Drift Loon. Drift Bloom is what he's going for, which I believe uh, does damage depending on how many special energy are in your opponent's discard pile. It's, uh, it's a pretty interesting deck, it's... Uh, or not deck, I'm sorry, it's a pretty interesting card, uh, but we'll see if it's, um, if how it plays out. So, uh, I start out with a double dark rhyme, uh, Eviolite attached for the turn, Juniper away, I have to Juniper away a Hydreigon, but it's probably going to be worth it because my hand was pretty much dead otherwise. I level ball for a Deano since I have a Zwellis in hand, and I have a random receiver in order to get something else, but I decide to use that random receiver because if he ends me and ends that random receiver out of my hand and into, some, into a dead hand, I can always uh, probably have a likely time or an easier time getting a Sableye out on the bench or, yeah, well, a Sableye on, onto the field and using that Sableye to get a random receiver back. So uh, basically that's a good thing with Dark Ride decks and Sableye decks is to uh, use a random receiver early on so you can use it later with Sableye. So he crushing hammers away my dark energy and there's the Drift Blim. So yep, it's <clears throat> excuse me, 50 times the number of special energy in your opponent's discard pile. But his Zerua is active for now. And there's a Sableye as well, so it uh, looks like it's going to be primarily, you know, a Zorok deck. I'm sure there's a Darkrai in there somewhere. He catches up my Deano. Um, hopefully not able to knock it out quite yet. And uses Ascension to get into the Zorok. So I go ahead and draw into the Dark Patch, which I'll use on my um, Darkrai. Attach for the turn. And here I'm contemplating whether I... Um, oh, I attach to the active, I'm sorry. Um, I do go ahead and evolve, since the chances of me getting into the candy um, Hydreigon combo are pretty slim, since I've already discarded one, and I only have two in the deck. I do hit Sableye, and so this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, now, if I had it attached to the... Um, yeah, if I had it attached for the turn, I could have attached Dark Ride, Retreat, and get a random receiver, but... Um, that's really not that big a deal right now, so I'm just going to retreat and, uh, looks like I'm going to catch up his, his Sableye, hoping that he either has to just get stuff back, gives me another turn. I don't really want him to be putting damage on until I can get my Sableye active, get random receiver, get some supporters going, and get a Hydreigon in place so I can start playing around the damage. But there's the Darkrai and a hammer. Luckily he hits Tails, so I, uh, I can keep my energy in play. But, oh, there goes a Tool Scrapper. So there goes my Eviolite. And right now, I would say his bench, or his side of the field, is looking very formidable compared to mine. I would feel a lot better if I had a supporter in hand and, um, and another Dano on the bench. But I top the Hydreigon, which is huge, because now I can definitely start playing with the damage. So I've got two max potions in hand. I'm going to Dark Trans, um, one of the energy up to Dark Rai. I mean, I could start attacking, actually, but I think it'd be uh, safer to go ahead and get a random receiver back so I can get my hand moving. And I'm probably going to take a catcher as well, unless I want to take a dark patch. Hmm, so looks like I'm going to go with... Uh, he runs hammers, but that catcher is so useful. Uh, looks like I go with the catcher. So now it's Sableye versus Sableye. He plays his catcher, brings up the Hydreigon, crushing hammer, and hits another Tails. Excellent. 
And foul play doesn't quite knock me out. Oh, yes, it does. I forgot he's got the, uh, the dark claw, uh, is it dark claw? Dark pa oh, yeah, dark claw. So that actually really hurts. Uh, so, and then I pulled in anyways. So that's very, very frustrating. Um, because now I have all this energy spread out all over the place and nothing really to do with. So, hmm. Um, he's got a dark around the field, so I really, the, the, the catcher isn't the big thing. Now, the good thing is, is that by copying Hydragon's attack, he did have to discard the two energy he had attached to Zorark. Um, so, did I play catcher? Did I catch her up a, I captured up a Sableye with energy? Uh, I probably meant to catch her up the other Sableye, but, um, Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, playing. Dart patch, I attached. So. Ah, okay, so, uh, alright. Uh, dart patch attached, so my, my, oh, ah, that's why. Because I wanted to bring up, uh, something with energy so I could knock it out with my dark eye, providing I had hit the energy in the dart patch, which I did. And that takes one more energy off of his field. And that's pretty much because he's not running, unless he runs a bunch of energy switch, um, he, he's not running Hydreigon. So uh, I do have the advantage here. I've got four energy on the field to his one on Driftblim. So my prize, eh, the other Hydreigon. I actually have to hit a Super Rod in order to get the ability Hydreigons back into my deck. But at least I have the Deano in play, so we can play around with that for a little while. He ran the receivers to hit the N, um, perfectly fine with uh, bringing up my hand of two to a hand of five. Now he doesn't know that I have the N in hand, so but he goes ahead and plays it anyways, and uh, get get some pretty decent stuff. I'm not really fond of the max potion without that hydragon in play, but that's all right. Um, get another Sableye, but I would really have. Uh, I need to hit a super rod. Or a supporter. Hmm. So he dark patches, he attaches, he's getting some energy on the field. He's got another drift bloom in play, but um, I don't think I have any special energy in my discard pile. So he doesn't or he needs one more to attack. Either way, he doesn't end up attacking. Um hmm. so I attach the Eviolite. I'm going to attach the dart to my bench. And, uh, that's pretty much all I can do. I don't want to waste a max potion off a of 10, or on 10. So, uh, I'm going to hit him for the weakness, which, uh, which is kind of nice. Drift, uh, hitting that Drift Bloom for 180. And I'm going to put the 30 on... I mean, Zorark can be easily knocked out with a Night Spear if he's in the act position. Um... Looks like I might go with the Dark Rise since he's already got quite a bit of damage on him. Or not, I'm sorry, quite a bit of energy on him. So it looks like that's what I end up doing. And awesome, I pull a Dark Patch as my um, prize. So he still needs one more energy to attack. He's only got one card in his hand. He retreats to a Sableye with no energy and passes. Oh! Uh, that hurts, so that one one card in his hand must not be good. Now, I still have no way to... I don't have a Super Rod, but I do have energy, and um, really that's what this is coming down to. So, um, I mean, there's really not much else I can do. I, I can't really... I, don't, I only run one Zwellis, which is in the discard pile, so there's no point in wasting my level ball right now. But I can just probably just attach the dark to my bench dark eye, get him ready to go, and knock out the Sableye, um, and just keep on spreading the damage. Uh, I don't really know why I'm hesitating right now, because, uh, I mean, I would love to play a supporter, get things moving, but there's, there's not really much, much to do. So... Okay, well, I do end up playing the other Sableye from my hand. 
probably a, a, the safer play, and I do end up burning the level ball, even though I'm, there's, I know there's nothing to get. Um, just in case he does end me, uh, it would be two less cards to have to deal with. Check my discard pile again, just uh, cringing at all the Hydreigon line cards in there. And I hit the Sableye to knock it out, and I believe I'm going to put another 30 on the Dark Ride that already has 30 on it. So he promotes that Dark Rye, which still has free retreat, and I pull a Bianca. Excellent. So that'll at least give me uh, two cards, uh, two extra card draw next turn. But we'll see. So he's going to catch her up. Um, probably either a Sableye or a Deanna with no energy, and hope that I don't have the energy to attack. So he pulls up the Deanna and has to pass. Whoa. Um, hmm. I think, huh, do I Ultra Ball and just waste it? Which, yep, I decided to, to Ultra Ball, a Dark Patch, and Max Potion just to waste it. Um, let's see, we'll, we'll go with uh, probably the Mewtwo. Just, uh, Mewtwo is just all around useful. I've already got two Dark Rise on the field, so really no reason for a third. And the only other Pokemon is Ability Hydreigon, and I, I really don't want him in play. He's, or the other Ability Hydreigon. So, uh, now I've got a nice hand to Bianca with. Still don't hit the Super Rod. Was the Super Rod in there? I honestly don't remember looking, but, um, yeah. Unfortunately, though, I don't hit energy. So, I actually have to pass. Um, I decide, I do decide to Rare Candy into that Hydreigon. I think I've just kind of given up on the Super Rod. But I feel pretty confident with my board position right now. So, I mean, I just, uh, I, I think I evolve just to make it more difficult for him to knock me out and give me more time to draw into an energy and play around. So, um, yeah, he attacks uh, or hits me for one, or I have to pass, he hits me for 110 with the Dark Pat or Dark Claw and puts 30 on my Sableye, and there I hit the Super Rod. Can't believe it. The turn after I evolve, I hit the Super Rod. So, uh, that's just how it goes, but uh, I didn't have to give up a prize, and... Um, Right now, because I only have three prizes left to take, I'm going to go ahead and burn that Max Potion on the Hydreigon, just so it means it's less damage he can do. Super Rod in Hydreigon, Hydreigon, Deano. And Bianca for four. And I still don't hit an energy. Or, might I add, not that it matters, but any of the Hydreigon line. So, go figure. Um... However, he still has that hand of one, so, uh, uh, it's gonna suck to end him up to five, but, oh, so he's gonna tool scrapper, uh, my Eviolite, and hit me for 110 again, so, hmm, and 30 on the Sableye. But there's the energy, so, alright, now I can start doing some damage back. Um. Hmm. Problems. Do I just go ahead and attach? Um, well, I mean, yeah, just go ahead and attach. And I start Night Spearing. I mean... There's no. I think I'm contemplating whether to use the Max Potion on the Hydreigon, just so it's less for him to snipe, or uh, just attaching and retreating. Um, I mean, he's still got five prizes left. I'd probably rather lose the Hydreigon and save that Max Potion for a Darkrai, even if I have to lose all the energy off of it. So, I... Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking attaching to the Mewtwo. Um... But I do decide, it looks like, to... What am I going to? No, eh, keep going back and forth. So I, I attach and retreat back to a Darkrai. And... Yeah. There I go with... Oh, I, I, I thought I was going to end, but ended up not going with it. Um, very smart play. Um, I've got a good board position. Just let him sit there with his two cards. So put some a uh, lot of damage on him. I'll be able to knock him out next turn. 
And he heals his Zorak, of all things. Um, I guess, yeah, he doesn't really have an option. If he heals his Darkrai, he loses all that energy. So he hits the Hydreigon, hits the Darkrai, and I'm feeling pretty good right now. So i uh, probably just going to retreat and heal. Yeah, um... Retreat, yeah, I lose all that energy, but... I mean that that's that's really that's okay. So yeah, retreat, heal off the one ten, so that's uh you know, no way he's knocking that thing out. And you know, he's close to knocking out Hydragon, but that's okay, it's just one prize. Uh attach my blend energy, uh knock out the dark eye, and put thirty yards on Zorak. So I pretty much just have to hit Zorak next turn and um I'm good to go because I only have one prize left, which is a Juniper, Excellent, and Ultra Ball. So I don't know how many cards I have left in my deck. Eleven. So between those eleven cards, chances are there's one energy in there. So, oh, well, there goes my Blend Energy with Enhanced Hammer. Um, but I'm feeling really good. I don't see how I could possibly take five prizes before I can take one more. Um... And how many catchers were in there? I know I've used at least two. Oh, he has to pass. So that's game. Um, Night Spear for 90. He's already got 30 on him from last turn. And there we go. So um, doesn't matter. I'll put 30 on the Drift Bloom. And my last prize is a Mewtwo. So there we go. A uh, fairly short-ish battle. Or, well, I guess not really short-ish. But uh, what looked to be a pretty even game right in the beginning uh, turned out to be a clear... Uh, victory in, in in my way just because of uh, preventing him from or, or taking out all the energy on his side of the field. So hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more battle videos.